we've just found an Australian bar. <laughs> an Australian bar, Mazzy. This is going to be interesting. It's even got English. It says Foster's up there, Mazzy. Oh, yeah, they probably will. You might have Forex in it, yeah? Oh. Is this part of it round here, then? Yes, inside. Not seeing anyone else with a drink, though. Just oh, coffee. Oh, inside. OK, so we've wandered into an Australian bar. Look at this, it's just like a proper living room. Yeah. Oh, I like that, Mazzy. Yeah. It's a shame it's not in the sun, but hey. There's no fosters though. No boomerangs. <laughs> darts. So this is similar to like you get in Germany. It's electronic darts. It's very, po it's very popular in um, Europe, but not in England. It's clever because you just throw your darts, Mazzy, and it adds it up automatically. You don't have to do any adding, because every segment... So you are using real darts? Well, the cheap darts, they're not... You know, they're these what you throw at the funfair type things. Oh, but it's a good game, because you don't have to count, it does it all for you. I once lost 50 euros at a game of that. True story. <laughs> it's getting better. The prices are getting better. Three euros each. For a big proper man's tankard yeah. and a big proper woman's tankard. You still don't see anyone drinking these here though. No. Even for them to get the grande, which is probably smaller than a pint, could be a pint. It's smaller. just not it's just not done, is it? They no. don't anyway, let me show them what I've got then. So I've been after not only some boots but some frames. So I've got these there. Twenty-six ninety-nine. They look very slippy. Jesus. Slippy? Look at the bottom of them. You need something um, with a good grip, Mazzy. And I got this top for £12.99. What does it say on it? Don't know, really. Justice, feel the magic, um, the divine, love, tarot, card, live. Yeah, you've got some of what's got English writing on it, Mazzy. I don't mind. I needed... I was got that hippie smell. I needed something with a long sleeve, really, but nice, nice and nice. Yeah, well, well, when I on. when I get something, it's going to be in Spanish writing. I'm not coming all the way to Spain and getting yeah, English. The trainers, sir. I just saw some Dunlop trainers in one shop. Yeah. Dunlop. They were nice, actually. I ain't coming to Spain to buy Dunlop trainers. Yeah, but they were nice. So while well, Dan goes and gets another drink, now I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to show you this properly. Can you see what's going on in there? I don't know. I just find that picture really interesting. I'm not really sure what's going on in that particular picture. We do have some more. The only other one that really grabbed me... Well, you've got these two. Just full of, like, shops and signs, if I show you. There you go. But this one, this is the other one I was interested in. God, that's why I was like that. <laughs> yeah, really interesting photos. We've moved indoors because it was a little bit chilly outside. So Dan's just going to get us another tree. And we've got some lovely, actually, paintings of ships going on here as well. Thank Six you, my euro. dear. Six euro. It's a bargain, isn't it? Yes. <sighs> so we're back down here. Who likes my trainers? I'm so pleased with those. Oh, they're so glitzy. They're seriously only like 26.99 euros, which is probably about 22 quid. Not bad. And they feel actually all right quality, but nice and light for Spain. Well chuffed with those. I, do, I just hope they fit though, because I said to Dan when I was in the shop, um, he had to quickly Google my size. I'm usually a size five, maybe a four. And he said a 38 to 39. So I quickly pulled a 38, a 38. They only had four pairs. Quickly got a 38, but I've got really fat socks on today. So they were a little bit tight, so I'm just hoping they're going to be fine. Because they're the sort of trainer now I won't wear socks with. Hope they're going to be all right. Somebody let me know, is a 38, a 4 to 5, or a 39? Should I have gone for the 39 in a Euro size? Just noticed we've got a big Foster sign up here. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. Let me just stand up. It says Dragon Boat Competition, Sydney. 
us, have we got any Australians out there that can tell, tell us what a dragon boat competition is? I'll be intrigued. I wonder if it's like the Red Bull, you know, where like everybody makes their own like boat or car or whatever it is. I wonder if it's a bit like um, the Red Bull. Do you see that, babe? Dragon boat competition, look. Sydney. I wonder if that's a real competition. It will be. Yeah. I'm asking our um, uh, Australian viewers to let us know. I don't know if we've got any. I'm just wondering, do you think it might be like a bit like the Red Bull? You know, like the Red Bull competitions they have, where you can make your own car, boat. Down there. You're down there. I've no idea. Can I just point some out? Yeah. I've been outside. Just look, look the place up. Twenty thousand people live here. Is that all? Now you think of Keithley where I was born, I think that's 66,000 people and this place feels almost like a city but yeah. there's only 20,000 people here. That's mad. We're on the move again. Yeah. Tapas Bar. Check that out. Is that look at the prices? To me that just seems like a waste of a bike. That is a brilliant bike. No, it's a way of showing history isn't it? Prices don't seem too bad. Wow, nothing is over. F oh, I don't know. No. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Mazzy. There's some up there for 70 euros. 70? Yeah. Oh, Galicia a la piedra. A kilo. It comes in a kilo. <laughs> well. Yeah, we'll give that a miss, but hey. I don't know. You get a kilo or something. Right, so where are we heading to? Donna Kebabs. That's no, exactly where. No, no, no. We did that last night. <laughs> It's the Turkish doner kebab shop I haven't tried yet, Mazze. Yeah. Now we're looking for the bull ring. There's a bull ring down here. There was actually a lot of doner kebab shops there, isn't there? There's six. Oh. Really? There's six. And there wow. is, there's a statue of a bull. That's what we're after, not the bull ring, but the statue of the bull. Going shoe shopping. No, not for me, for Dan. I want a bright red. <laughs> Bright red, bright white, proper Spanish colours. But we're thinking these because they're like sketches. They've got the sketcher no. foot, memory foam feel. It's got memory foam in it, but. But they're only 30. They're well spongy. 30 no, euros. They're 29 99 darling. Alright, well. Yeah. Forget that price. They're okay. 30, uh, 29 99 30, So that's like 25 quid. Yeah. And I think that's probably my size. Dan was after something different. Oh, the slip-ons. Oh, that's handy. I'm going to have to try one on, aren't I? Yep, try one on. Right. So, the problem is, Dan actually has one foot, um, half a size big... Well, no, that's not unusual. No, I've got one foot nine and a half and one foot ten and a half. Oh, full totally size one difference. full size. So right. So, these are ten... about ten and a quarter. Right. Slip on. Slip on. What do you think? Are they comfy? What's what's the memory foam like? Slipping off. Slipping off. Oh no, that's gonna get on your nerves. Cause that will loosen up. Yeah, I can't tighten it. You see, can I? No. Danny's one of these, right? You know when you get laces on a trainer, he will pull them really, really, really tight. They're all right, but they are slipping at the back. Yeah. So let me try a size smaller. Try a size smaller. down then. So they were 42, darling. No. Are they? It says 42 there, but the box yeah, says 44. Yeah, that's a bit strange. And I would say they are a 44. No, but they... Are they two left feet? No, they were 40... Yeah, they were 44. Yeah, they were 44. It says it in the inside. Yeah, 44. Excuse my tan on my hands. I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> I made a right mess last night. So let's right, 43. 43 below it. Which is like nine and a half, which for me, I yes. say is too small. Too small. <laughs> Uh, no Espanol. No. <laughs> Sorry. Let's try this, yeah? Yep. Give that one a go. 
I do like them. I think they're smart, especially with the, like, the memory foam inside. They're comfortable. They are comfortable. Now that's too tight. Yeah, One but minute. is that your bigger foot or is that your smaller foot? I don't know. <laughs> Which one's your bigger foot? That's two. No. Right, this ain't working. It's not there. working. Like I said, Dan, when he gets a pair of trainers, he is one of these that will yank. Literally, he, 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 literally, you, they're overlapping like that because he pulls his laces too tight. So slip-ons ain't for you, my dear. Oh, they were smart and they were cheap as well. Nope, not happening. It's the slip-on. That's the problem. Yeah. It's still too tight there. Um, but they're still slipping a bit at the back. Right. No, you've got oh, a wide wow. foot. Oh. We've literally destroyed this shop. We need to get out of here without <laughs> buying anything, but still look like presentable shop uh, shop buyers. Players. Shop what? Shoppers. Shoppers. <laughs> Never mind. But they were all good prices. Twenty nine euros. Twenty nine. Yeah. Yeah. They're just. No. Too, too narrow. Yeah, never mind. Well, they're all right. You like them? I like them. 42. You like the colour? Yeah. Yeah? They're a bit dark, but maybe 40. Try the bigger size. Yeah. Gonna destroy the shop again. <laughs> yeah, they're, so, they're very cheap. Yeah. Like thirty pounds. You got a big fit. <laughs> I like these. Right. I think that'll be all right. Well, not just all right. You all you've done is put it on. Yeah, but it's not laced up. Go for a walk. You have to do the shoot new yeah, shoe it's not walk. Working because it's not laced up. It's sliding off at back. Is that your big foot? I don't know. I don't know which my big foot. I think my big foot's the other foot. Oh, babe. Which ain't, these aren't a bad price, actually. Right. I think we're going to be going for these. They say 35 95 or whatever, and they're actually 25 99 which works out to be about 20 quid. 20, 22 20, quid. 20 quid? Nah, 20 quid. Right, that fits. They're nice. I like them. Let's have a look. Ooh, new shoes, new shoes. It's nipping me a bit there. Is it? I'm guessing that's just wearing it in. But that's the right Don't place. just put up with it. No, I just need to break it in. It's a bit, a bit yeah. tough. So which were them? These ones here, 25 90, 20 quid shoes. This one, though, I mean. Yeah, 44s. I need to try the other one on because my other foot's a, a, a size bigger. I thought that was your big foot. No, I think that's my small foot. <laughs> he's off. We've already discussed these are going straight in the bin and he's keeping these on because he's double knotted them. The There's not mm. wrong with them. It's no. just for Spain, I need something a little bit lighter. Right, are you happy? Yeah. No, you don't seem happy. I do think I might get a blister there for a week. Do you? Well, we all but do. Because we all do when we get new shoes, darling. We all do. Look at the, look at the new shoe darts. Oh yeah, I like the new shoe darts. <laughs> oh no, you're making me laugh. Happy? Yeah. Is there any labels on the bottom? No. Nope. You were keeping them on, are you? Yeah. I need to break them in. Don't rip that off unless if you're buying them. I'm buying them. Yay! Um, we both got a new pair of trainers. These, yeah. Because my old trainers, yeah, my old trainers, I actually give to my sister, bless her, so. I always recycle my clothes, you know, put them in charity bins or hand-me-downs, hand etc. Oh, is that what you're doing? Yeah. Yeah. What do you think I'm going to do? Don't know. Let's go. <laughs> right, is there any women's stuff here now, no. then? Can I look? No. Please? No, let's go. Oh. 
think you have to take them off to weigh them. Ah, okay. <laughs> Yay! Good job we had clean socks on today, isn't it? I am. <laughs> they look clean. A week old, man. <laughs> Ew. Here, look, some socks here. Do you want some new socks? How much are they? Uh, well, they're ankle socks. Oh, don't you like trainer socks? Oh, no. So we've come into a little cafe restaurant place for our uh, meal tonight. Um, the menu was a little bit difficult because it was only cafe kind of food. I've opted for, what have I opted for? Um, beef toasty. It's just a toasted sandwich. Dan's opted for, what did you opt for darling? I think we're getting <laughs> eels and squid. Actually, you, you say that, but a lot of the menus that we were checking out along the strip had eels, pig's feet, pig's trotter, feet. pig's nose. <laughs> yeah. Necks. Yeah. I'll tell you something I do want to try though, believe it or not. This sounds weird. Bull's tail. Yes. I wonder if it's like oxtail, you know, like the oxtail soup. I've, I saw someone trying bull's tail, but it actually looks like... Doing steak, maybe? Oh, it sounds nice. I think I'd like it. So what have you ordered anyway? Let's get back. Which burger? The bottom one. Oh, the bottom one. Which was what? Well, it's just a hamburger and it's got egg and bacon with it. And we and ordered some fries. I think we ordered fries on the side. Let's hope we haven't ordered a third meal this time. Say, so bring me a third meal. <laughs> <laughs> so ain't because it didn't say your hamburger would come with fries, did it? No. Again. So, yeah. But you're not going to kick off. You're going to scram it down. I'm not going to pay for it if I ain't ordered it. I knew what I was getting. Bacon, egg. Hamburger? It's an hamburger. It's an hamburger with chips to share. Uh, Mazzy, what did you order? I did a steak um, toasty sandwich. Steak toasty, look at it. Yeah, it, it now, looks really weird. It's covered in pepper. What is this? I don't think she's keen, but I think she will like it if she actually but tries it. It's not actually steak. It's not steak, it's chicken. Yeah. Looks like chicken. Yeah, but the bread looks steak. nice, the chicken looks nice, and the pepper but looks it's not a nice. Just go for it. So Go we just for it. had to also order um, salt and pepper. We didn't know how to uh, uh, say it because you said it was like peppermint or something. So we were just like, salt and pepper, salt and pepper. <laughs> I nearly got thrown out for doing that in front of the waitress, but I didn't. And she brought us this. Okay, let's just go with it, yeah? I, I'm happy with mine. I'm happy with mine. Yeah, mine's okay. I'm very happy with the portion sizes. At least we're not going to have to leave worrying no. that we're leaving most of us food because they're in. They're just enough. No. This is what kind of portion I want. Talking about throwing away food, though, I do absolutely feel guilty throwing away our last night's grub because we did leave a lot. Just took it. Tell us what you think. Is it steak? No. Mm. Is it no. nice? Mm. I knew that would be nice. Mm. What is that? Chicken, toast and pepper. This? I don't know what that is. That's well pepper. Nice. Mm. Enjoy. Mm. So I know straight away Dan has to cut this fat off. Because <laughs> I, I know you damn it's well. It's just not me. No. But it looks amazing. Is there actually a hamburger under that? Um, I don't think there is. Oh yeah, there is. That yeah. egg looks massive. It's that mass must. Oh, that's you. Um, oh yeah, that'll make you. Yeah, massive, I, I, I don't know. Oh, if you it... love your tomato. Yeah, I don't know if that's gonna make that any better. Yeah, I'm happy. Apart from the. That's gotta be two eggs. That ain't one egg. That that is three eggs. Three eggs. That's gotta be two eggs. That ain't one egg. 
That's one egg. That's massive. That's one egg. <laughs> oh wow, that's bigger than our English ones. Right, nice. give it, give it a bite then. I can't write yet. I have to get all the fat off. Still you know cutting what I'm the like. fat off. <laughs> yeah, but we all like that, aren't we? Go to McDonald's, get yeah. the breakfast. You have to cut Perfect. the fat off. Perfect. Yeah, is that right? Mhm. Mm I'd like a bit of brown sauce, but hey, they don't do that in Spain. No, we were actually given a few sauces, which we've never actually been given on any meal that we've been going to. I'm good. Yeah, try it. Oh, yes. Oh, it looks nice. <laughs> it's going to fill me up anyway. I can yeah. <laughs> Try the burger. Did you try the burger? Just a corner. Perfect. Yeah. There we go. That's our tonight's meal. Absolutely delicious. I enjoyed mine. Okay, it wasn't quite what I thought I was going to order. Proper cafe food, not wrong with that. Yeah, but you ate yours and I ate mine. Why yeah. Not? I'm very cheap. Yeah. We I'm think. We haven't paid for it yet, but <laughs> Yeah. We've only had the one drink. We're it's done. Not, there's not many cafes in England where you can actually have a beer with your meal. No. But you saying... You special licence, don't you, in England, but exactly, over here... Exactly, yeah. Have a beer. But there a is a lot of uh, places here though that will close for lunchtime till let's say four or five. So it's very rare that you might find. Well, that's what we've experienced anyway so far. Just enjoyed our meal. Coming across this, um, I've, it's a bank actually. Somebody's left these bags outside with a sign. Dan's trying to. Translate it. I can't work it out, Maz. It just says thank you. Yeah, I think I they're asking for a little donation. I can't work the top out. Can we leave a little donation? Well, if I could understand what he was saying. I think I it's, he's got his bag opened. Yeah, but. Yeah, our, our translator isn't that great at it. Is yeah, but I don't know. I keep seeing me. To... You're not going to leave a little donation? I just left two euros to that woman and she didn't appreciate come it. Come on, that come us. on. Let's help those that have helped others, you know. Off camera. <laughs> off camera. Yep, I've, I've got the camera off. So the brown ones... Uh, forget that. That's no good to him. <laughs> Go on. You can have it all. Five euros or something. Oh, bless him. It'll help him out, won't it? Yeah. Now, I'll tell you what, as silly as it sounds, I'm feeling that financially, my money isn't going down as quick as I thought it would do. No, but can I explain why? <laughs> <laughs> no, there is an explanation to this. So I'm buying things for euros, so I'm giving Dan cash, euro cash. We split our, fi our money 50-50, yeah. right? Yeah. And I'm buying things in euros. Keep your hands in you, euro cash. And then you're paying for things on cards. So you seem to think that your money ain't going So then down. the next morning she'll give me 50% of that money back. Like 50 so euros. I keep... If I've spent you 50 euros, he's now got that back in his wallet. So I just keep feeling like I'm getting given rich. lots of money. Yeah, <laughs> but you're not. Your bank card's going down. No. I, I'm feeling very happy. Um, We're enjoying I'm feeling stuff. okay, and if I can help someone else uh, with five euros, well, yeah. bless him. Hold on, we're after a little shop. Where's the little shop? I don't know. We need a little shop. Everywhere's shut, they're all having a sleep. Siesta. Why um, do they do this? Why would you want to sleep at this time you, of day? Can you Google it? Though? Yeah, but the Spanish are renowned for that, aren't they? Come yeah, but surely siesta. they don't do it on a weekend. Like yes. Liverpool played yesterday. Surely they don't sleep when football's on. Just need a, li a little shop. It don't matter what size it is. There's a kebab shop over there. 
Starving. Definitely one of our best stopovers Absolutely. of Spain so far. What a wonderful, wonderful town. Yes. Could spend another two days here, but you're only allowed 48 hours here. And it so. seems to be the same in all the years. You're only allowed 48 hours. Yeah. You're not allowed to have um, tables outside. You're not allowed to have chairs outside. You're not even allowed to have... What do you call them? Like the hydraulic um, things to stabilise your van. Stabilisers. You're not even allowed them, apparently, no. in these areas. Which makes me think then you're not even allowed your ramps. Yeah, it's, it's I like agree, a permanent yeah. fixture. It's yeah. not It's not the car park's fault. Yeah. It's not the local council. I think that is a national thing. Yeah. They're trying to say you are not allowed your stabilisers, your chairs, your depth. It's a national thing. You are not allowed to do that because that's classed as camping. World camping. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway. Anyway, it's been a good day. It's been a good Wonderful day. Wonderful place. You've got new shoes. Um, yeah, I'm happy. Went into so an have amazing... Oh, yeah, I forgot about mine. Went into an amazing church. Oh, um, MG. That was an amazing church, though, wasn't it? And just to clarify again, the name of the town is Kalatayud. And there will be a link in the description yeah. of exactly where we are, the air. Uh, click the link, it'll take you to camp and it'll show you where we are and uh, what facilities are here. A few photos and all the reviews of people who have stayed here. Brilliant place. Pull it this way, I do feel we could have spent four to five she days to, here. You wanted to stay another night, didn't another you? Another night. But we're not going to break the 48 hour rule. Yeah, and I did say, well, who's going to know? Who's going to know? But. Just as we were walking past, a ticket man yeah, walked out. Yeah. So it's so not worth the risk. It's not worth the risk, no. But let's give some thanks to oh, some very, very break. special can people. I grab my chocolate while well doing that. You can do what you want. Ronald Binks. Thank you, Ronald. Go Massive on. thank you to Ronald Binks thank because you, I think Ronald. you've got the best name in the world apart from Starla, whatever she's called. And Peter Webster. That ain't, no, Peter Webster isn't a special <laughs> name. He is special. But while we're on the subject, let's thank uh, Peter, Peter Webster, Webster as well. Thank you, Peter. Boom. Paranormal so. Unlimited John. I need to. Boom. Get, I yes, need he does make videos. Subscribe to him. Yes, I need to look into that. She yeah. likes that kind of stuff. Yes. Lynn and Tony. Oh, Lynn and Tony, mm. thank you. But more of these because I think it was Tony's birthday yesterday. Mm. Oh, Happy yes. Birthday. Boom. Hello. About 56, I think she said. Mm. Which is like, I don't know, that's like prehistoric. I, I don't know. Really old. You ain't far from that, don't you? Kid I'm a yourself. long way away from that. Yankee Doodle. Yankee Doodle. Boom. Yankee, boom. Darren Dixon. Thank you, Darren. I'm going to kiss him. I know he's a man, but he's a friend of mine and I love him to bits. What is this? Just chocolate. How much? Don't know. You just, I just, it's lovely. Well, I just it depends it up. on the price. I just pick it up. I don't know what the price is. Can I just point some out though? Yeah. That's my chocolate. That's, no, yours is it. That's the one I no, picked up with the green no, from. Hold on. Hold that's on. my chocolate. Wait. The hate. Gaz and Shaz. This is yours because you seem to think that. Are you going to thank Gaz and Shaz? Thank you, Gaz and Chaz. Gaz and Chaz. That's yours because you. Paul Whitey. Boom. Thank you, Paul. No, listen. Right, thank you all for watching this video. Hey, disregarding what I'm trying to say. Love you all to bits. That's your chocolate. I really enjoyed it here. As I've said earlier oh, yeah. in the video, no English person has ever mm. put a video on YouTube about this town. That's mad. Guys, forget the cut. I'm not saying the course isn't no, great. It's wonderful. I'm sure your Benny Dorms and your Maligas and stuff are fantastic, and you've got the sea. You're missing so much by not coming inland a bit. Mm. It's brilliant. And the temperature for us, it's about 23 it's degrees hot. at the moment. Mm -hmm. It's perfect. It's perfect. It's hot, actually. Right. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Yeah. We will catch you all tomorrow. Make sure you come back. And make sure you, yeah, you, make sure 
you send a message, a text, a WhatsApp, a Facebook message, or whatever kind of message you like, to one of your family members and say, would you mind subscribing to these two lovely people? Because we need subscribers, and we love you. We don't need them. We do need them. We'd like them. I need them. Thank you all so much. See you tomorrow. Laters.